Hello, and welcome to my van tour. Guess who's back? <laughs> self-converted 2016 Ford Transit and she is my sweet baby child okay I converted her in about a month with the help of my dad but mainly on my own and I had no experience building anything at all other than like the third grade Girl Scout troop miniature construction moment other than that, this was completely new to me and I did it in a month. So if you're thinking about doing van life, you're a solo female wanting to travel, just know that you can do it. It's tough. You're going to go through the ringer, but you can build something like this. So it's a pretty basic build, but it works perfect for me. And I can't wait to show you all around my sweet home. That is perfect. I hope you know that's going to go in the video. <laughs> the story of Violet is I was searching to buy a van in like August to September. I ended up purchasing this van right around my birthday, around like August 28th. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I would highly recommend searching there, but make sure that you take any used vehicle that you're looking to buy to a mechanic. And then September to like beginning of October, I was doing my van conversion. I had to stop for some family matters for a couple weeks, so I didn't actually end up leaving until the end of October. And I've been living in this van since like October 28th, which is wild. Granted that it's now like January 10th, I don't even know. Well, I thought we could start up here in the front. As you can tell, I have a nice little swivel seat. So this gives me a lot of room to kick my feet up and enjoy. I actually didn't install this. The previous owner of the van did. And all they did was the swivel seat and some of the installation. So it was the perfect buy for me. Thank you, Facebook Marketplace. And then other than that, I just have some really basic things up here in the shelf, like hoodies, PJ pants, vitamins that I take every day. And then that's about it. Um, so this is like my pretty basic area. As you can tell up here, I have some fake flowers that I bought at Michael's that I just stuck into the side. It's like built out of foam where the airbag is. So I just stuck them in there. Don't come for me in the comments about how that might mess up the airbag because that was an afterthought, clearly. But yeah, so this is super basic. I love the swivel seat. I definitely recommend if you're building one out. This is literally just a curtain rod that I got at Target with a blackout curtain. And I don't know if y'all can see, but there are command hooks attached to my wall that just hang this up. So every night I just pull it closed. It has a magnet that it sticks to on this side and this side, and you can't see any light from out, which is perfect. And these are those flowers that I was talking about. For my ceiling, I love the ceiling. It's actually, I don't know what it's called, but it's those long sheets of really thin, like cardboardish, almost cardboard, like wood material that you get at um, Lowe's. I'm gonna insert it right here because I have no idea what it's called right now. I'm blanking. But the really cool thing is that they actually are like almost whiteboard material, so you can write dry erase marker on them. When I have friends in here, we play like tic tac toe and hangman up there. I didn't have any space to do ceiling insulation. As you can tell, I'm very tall. I'm five eight and my head just hits the ceiling, but it's enough for me to stand up. So it's perfect for me. But if you're taller, you might want to consider a high roof instead of a medium roof like I have. As you can tell, this is my kitchen. I'll show you the bottom in a couple minutes, but I just have this tiny little bar sink that I got at Lowe's. It's about this big going back and it's a lot bigger than like those mixing bowl sinks that a lot of people have in here. Definitely recommend this. Underneath, I just have a foot pump system with a gray and um, clear water tank. Up here is one of my cabinets, and I just store a lot of little, like, I don't know, what's the word? Canned food, pasta, all that jazz. Clearly, I need to go grocery shopping, so just, like, disregard that. I actually bought these cabinets at Lowe's already made and just installed them into the wall of my van, which I definitely recommend if you're on a quick build timeline. It was so much easier than having to build all these cabinets out but the hard thing was they don't angle on the back like a van does so you have to build out bracing in the back but other than that it made it super easy 
under here I just have some push lights I love these because they actually turn fun colors and they make me feel very Gen Z in the van so yeah and then I have some random like condiment type of things spice rack all that jazz right here some of my um, cooking things whatever the word for those are and then that's about it okay team getting low for this part um, this is the bottom half of my kitchen I have three drawers right here and this is like an open cabinet I'll show you a close-up in a second I bought this entire set at Lowe's lol did not make this I did install the hardware and obviously I installed it into the van but it's two sets of drawers so there's drawers right here and then this is actually a sink piece for a cabinet set that I just got for pretty cheap at Lowe's and installed into the van. Again, the hardest thing about this installation is that the back is straight on these cabinets, whereas the van frame is curved, so you have to adjust it with some wooden bracing. But it made my build so much easier than having to make all of these. So if you're in a time crunch and you have a little bit of extra cash to spare, I definitely recommend doing this. And it wasn't much more than if I were to buy all the parts and create this myself. This part I don't love, but obviously these jostle around a lot while I'm driving and you can tell I have baby locks installed on all of these, but when you pull hard enough, it breaks off. So I need to reinstall these baby locks, but they are just like a magnet system. So you put the magnet up against the drawer and they pull out. They're really fairly well sized. I'll show you close ups about what's in the drawers in a minute, but it's perfect for me. This is what the inside of my drawers look like. I have utensils, can openers, scissors in the top drawer, bowls, plates, oven mitts in the second drawer. And the bottom drawer houses a lot of my Tupperware, kettle, and a pot that is not pictured. All right, so I know I already talked about things that are above up here with my sink, spice racks, cabinet, all that jazz in my kitchen setup. But this is what it looks like underneath. I have um, gray and clean water tanks usually under here. Um, I just have a foot pump for my sink, easy enough, you know. And then I have my Dometic mini fridge right here. It actually also has a freezer compartment, which makes it really nice, but it does take up a lot of power, so I end up not really using it all that often. But it fits perfectly in that little Lowe's sink cabinet area, which is really great for my setup. I don't really know what else to say about that, so I think that's good. All right, so my favorite thing about my van, like 100%, best purchase was this doormat. I got it at Ikea. It's a rainbow rug, but it is the most helpful thing for living in a van. And I know that that sounds like such a simple request, but if you do van life, please get a front entrance rug. It will change your life. I got this little chair thingy-mabob off Amazon. What's really cool about it is that it actually lifts up and it's convertible into like a full back chair. So I often will eat meals here, hang out. It's right here in my kitchen space, which makes it really convenient. And underneath there's some storage and this is where I keep all of my electrical, AKA my Jackery and my solar panels are under my bed. So like I said, got this off Amazon. The great thing is the top comes off and I usually just set it somewhere. And this is where I keep things like my long extension cord and my electric setup, which is literally just a Jackery 1000. It works for me. Dun, 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 dun. This is my bed. It is a platform bed that I made using Ikea parts, actually. So I just got the bed slats from Ikea that are underneath the mattress and then the steel beams and installed them to the wall using some Ikea parts. But I don't have a bed frame under here at all. It's kind of just hanging off the framing of the walls here. This is a cabinet that I have. I'll give you a close up look while I'm opening it some random stuff in here books all of my accord of thorn and roses books are in here to give me mental sanity on the road all my chargers electronics jewelry letters random things like that that i just like to have other than that i have my ukulele it just sits on my bed because there's not really another place for it uh, this is a full-size mattress everyone always is like eden how do you sleep in here how do you sleep because you're so tall? Well, people of America, I fit across this bed. I do, I do. So trust me when I say that, I will, I will show you. I know, dirty shoes, it's fine. They're like hanging off the side, but look at that. I fit perfectly. Another thing about my van that you can clearly see right above my head is this is where I have my Max Air fan. 
it has been perfect for me. I've actually not been in hot weather much in the van. It's been pretty cold where I've been over the last couple of weeks, but this has been amazing. It hooks up to this remote that I have on my wall right here, and then I just plug it into my Jackery. I don't know if you can see this right here, but I have this like heart-shaped bulletin board that I put pictures on of my family and friends when I get lonely on the road. And so I sleep with my head here and I go to bed looking at the beauties on this bulletin board, which is so nice for me. Um, other than that, I have this little like mirror with a couple hooks on it. I keep my keys on it when I'm hanging out in the van or every night. So my keys are right next to my head in case I need to make a quick escape. And I have this beautiful little crystal sun catcher thing. Thank you, Amy, who gave this to me years ago, my queen. You're probably wondering what these are. <laughs> and again, I did this van conversion in one month, so a lot of things were pretty rushed. This is not the first design that I thought I would be doing, but between my wall paneling, it is just stuck into the metal frame of the van on each side, and it is hung up by magnets crazy i know you have like 30 magnets on each of these wall things but they do not budge the only issue is there's part of the frame in the van in a ford transit that comes down just a bit in between this paneling so i just covered up that frame with these velvet um pieces of fabric and the car lights are actually attached to this part on the framing so the light can shine through from the car which gives me a little bit of extra light at night too which is so nice and again, for my curtain in the back, it is the same design. It's held up by command hooks on either side, and then there's just a target curtain rod across the way. I know some of the stuff in my van is not extremely aesthetically pleasing, but I also didn't have like 50 grand to spend on a van conversion. <laughs> so you get what you can give, and it was super time efficient for me to just throw that up there. And I don't regret it. She looks pretty cute, I think. All right, so obviously, like most van lifers, I have a ton of underbed storage, which helps a lot. I didn't install anything under my bed. If I had more time, I would have put like drawers and stuff within the bed frame, but I just didn't. So I ended up literally just putting like a strand of velvet fabric across that's held up on the steel plates in the bed with clips. It's super easy. So I just pull this up and you can see I have a ton of random things under here. I have bins for my shoes, for like bathing suits, I have my Jackery solar panels under here, and then I literally just have like Target plastic drawers that I just stuck under the bed. They fit perfectly um, for my clothes. So I just have two of those under there and then random storage, jackets, things that I kind of just throw in. It's not the most organized setup, but I'm living with what I got. It's hard to get a good angle on all this stuff, but right there are my three drawers. That's where I keep shoes, bathing suits, solar panels, and if you look that way, there's another drawer, but it has my undergarments in it, so I will not be showing that on video. And not to flex, but I did do all the electrical in my van. So from my fridge down here, I have a cord underneath the bed that runs to my Jackery setup, and same thing for the Max Air fan through the framing that I built in to the van. It's pretty simple. Um, I have some TikToks on my TikTok about it. I'll put my username right here and I'll try to link them in the comments below. Um, but feel free to comment if you want an electrical video. I would be happy to go through it because again, I had no experience when it came to electrical. I just sat in Lowe's for like three hours and tried to talk to Jim from the electrical apartment. He helped me a lot, but I did have to do some trial and error. With electrical, that can be tough. So let me know if you need any tips. And then of course, disregard the house but I have my sliding door that's right here so I'm going to show you what's on it my door handle is broken so need to get that fixed but I just have some cute pictures that I got in Joshua Tree from an artist you can buy these at Three Sisters Cafe they are so awesome each of these is just ten dollars I have my map of the United States that I consistently look back to while I'm driving because for some reason I have no idea where states are in the Midwest I'm realizing so learning slowly but surely but yeah so this is my sliding door there's no window I wish that there was but what you gonna do so this is my garage space I'll open the doors in a second let me preface by saying I thought that I would have way more time on the garage I ended up doing it in like three days and I just bought a ton of random Ikea furniture for it again I'll try to link it in the bio down below so just check that for what I did it's a set of two cubbies put 
one behind the other with two drawers stacked on top of it and they're soft closing drawers which makes it really helpful when I drive so things don't slide around. Welcome to my garage. The great thing about a Ford Transit is the doors do have locks on the back so when it's windy the doors don't slide all around. Again, I have my bed up here. My curtains just tuck into the side of my garage build which makes it super convenient for the windows. I have the set of these two drawers right here and then the cubbies underneath. So garage is literally just a ton of random shit, let me be honest. In here I have things like dish towels, toilet paper, paper towel rolls, yoga mat, this is my gym bag, snow scraper, there's like some backpacks tucked into the side right here. Again, I do have push lights on either side and they're battery powered so that gives me some light if I get to a campsite late or need to just undo things from the back. Above here, when I lift the comforter up, you'll see that I use all of the storage space that I can. I actually have a car table right here. When I pull this drawer out, it has all of my camping stuff in it, propane tanks, um, jet foil, some candles, random things like that. This drawer contains my heated blanket and some jacket. So I got these little cubby containers at Target in the kids section. So if you're looking for some that are cute, I recommend those. They keep a ton of random stuff. I don't know if you can see, but I have my roller skates, my hammock, some random like grocery bags. There's actually another one behind here, so it gives me some great space. I have my water containers here. I keep two of these. I believe there are seven gallons in the van at all times so that I have a ton of clean water. Um, and then I just fill them up to my clean water tank under my sink for when I'm doing dishes and need to drink things, etc. And then this one has toiletry items, my camping toilet, um, towels, other random stuff. The garage section, again, a ton of random stuff, but it is really helpful to have a lot of different storage containers back here. And again, if you're quick in your build time and you need to kind of just get things done, I recommend going to Ikea and just getting the cubbies, bolting them to your floor and putting drawers on top. This is my favorite thing in my van. It's my swing. I just store it in my garage. I just hook it up into the side frame here, pull it down to make sure that she's secure. And then, hope I don't die, and get in. And I have my van swing. So if you are thinking of doing van life, if you are a solo female traveler, if you have no build experience, if you have a short amount of time, if you don't have a lot of money, I feel you, right? Like that was my that was my whole issue and you can still do it. So just know that if you are determined and you feel like this is the right pathway, I'm here for you. Feel free to comment below. I'm happy to chat and give you any more details that you want about the build or like whatever would be helpful or just like a motivational speech. Please let me help. But really for real, you can do this. It is difficult and time consuming but if you're called to this lifestyle then it's meant for you and i really truly believe that anyone can build something like this so if you are traveling in van life by the way in 2022 and you want to be friends hit me up because i really want to caravan with some people this year and i will be on the west coast for the next foreseeable months so just let me know if you want to meet up because i would love to thank you so much for stopping by and checking out violet the van if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out some other videos. I have, I think, four on my channel right now, but I post every week, Friday, around 5 p.m. So have a wonderful day, and again, if you're a solo female traveler like me with no build experience, know that you can do this, even though it feels super scary, and I'll be here to support you. Have a great day, and be safe on the road. Rolling.